And Jesus told him, and he had to admit it in the long run, that if you are going to enter into the family of God, you've got to be born again of the what? Water and of the Spirit. And I'm coming back to that. So when you are born, you enter into a family. And by the way, when children are born in the family, there is great rejoicing. Am I right? And so tomorrow night, we are going to have some births here. And there is going to be great rejoicing. Not only at this church, but also in the kingdom of heaven. So if you want to have the mark on the identity uh, and authenticity of being not a bastard, but being an authentic child of God, you need to be born in the family. Now let me say this to you. Even if I grow up, if my boy grow up not to be loved by me, he can't change who he is. He's going to be my boy forever. If he doesn't even love me, he can't gainsay that he's my son. Once you become a child of God, his love follows you wherever you go. Now I belong to Jesus and Jesus belongs to me, not just for the years of time alone, but for eternity. And Jesus says that whosoever believes and is what? Baptized shall be what? Saved. Hold on to that a little. How can you be saved? You must do what? You must do what? Believe and you must be what? Baptized. And when you do that, you shall be saved. Now I'm going back to the argument that Jesus had with brother Nick. He said to me, he said to Nick, that you must be born again. You remember that? Must. Now let me ask you something, you smart student. What does must mean? Bill Clinton said, you have to find out what is is. What does must mean? Huh? What does it suggest? There is no choice, no other way, no alternative. In other words, if you are going to cross over Peace Arch to the United States, when you get to the drive through you must have a visa. If you don't, what do they do? They detain you. Better they would send you back, but they detain you. So, if you are going to enter over into the kingdom of God, you must have a visa. And that visa is called what? Baptism. Now, what does baptism suggest? Baptism is an outward sign of an inward change. It is saying to the world that I have come to get the brand of divine authenticity on my life. I am not who I was. I am now a brand new creature in Christ because 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man is in Christ, he is a what? What is he? I'm going to teach you something about that here now. Those of you who like languages, the word used there means you become a new creation. You are not remodeled. A friend of mine told me that he bought an old house the other day and he spent, he spent $3,000 to paint it over and sold it and made $10,000 profit in, in a month. And he said, Pastor, you need to get into something like this. If you want to have money, you have to have some to sell. He said, I just got a few cheap paint and paint it over and sold it $10,000. Bam! Some things really look good when you put paint on it. But when the paint begins to strip, it's a different thing. Am I right? Now, Jesus is not in the remodeling, remodification business. He is in the recreating business. He's making you all over again. Brand new. Not second hand. Not pre-owned. Brand new. He does, he does not leave you the way he finds you. You don't, you don't have a sales sign on you that say, uh, buy as is. 
No, Jesus takes you and when you are born again, you become a brand new creature in Christ. And whoever, is, whoever believes and is baptized has the guarantee of salvation. But, but, the Bible is written in wonderful language. The Bible says, but he who believes not shall be damned. <laughs> That's the nearest I go to cursing. You're damned. In other words, you have no part with me. You're excluded from my family. My family is a choice family. My family has pedigree. I wonder which of you guys here would want to go and marry Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter. They say you're a commoner. <laughs> we are commoners. We can't even get into Buckingham Palace to shake her hand. You, we can't even shake the Queen's hand. We have to curtsy before her at afar. I had a friend who became a high-ranking man in a country and he went to be knighted. The queen didn't even touch her.